<laughs> hey what's up and thank you for tuning into this video this video is going to show you the transformation of this home this is day zero so i wanted to give an intro before getting into the video if you're familiar with the old hgtv show called curb appeal that i absolutely loved that's what i'm trying to give to you i'm trying to show you how you can transform a home on a budget and it's just from the outside you're going to see from day one to whenever the project is complete from the new roof to the new paint colors to the new lighting everything new landscaping new shrubbery and i just want to give you the little girl in me wants to give you that curb appeal episode so before we get into the video i want to make sure that you have already subscribed to my channel like this video give it a thumbs up because it helps with the youtube algorithm comment below what more you would like to see from me as far as renovations go comment below what you think at the end of this video from the before to the after because it might just shock you good morning we have started on the demo we they have started on the demo um whoa it's a little uh, early to be this high off the ground but i just want to be nosy and see what was what what was going on up here? A lot. A lot is going on up here. It's gonna be a new new wall. Let me see if I take a picture with that wall. So we've got the new beams and rafters already. Like this. That oh yeah, but that's yes. exactly what mm -hmm. I had pictured. Okay. Yes. So it wasn't it wasn't there before? Or you No, just... it was. It oh, was okay. but I buried the image. Gotcha, gotcha. Damage, yeah, yeah, I know. Look at the chimney. Wow. Yep. Well, this is going to go down in history as a first for me. I have never been on top of a roof before. Um, yeah, so this is the view, I guess. So we just wrapped up another day on the project here and today's mission that was accomplished today we actually had the property we had the exterior pressure washed first it was prepped and then primed okay three p's the fourth p is going to be to paint so the color that you see behind me here is not the final paint color as you could have imagined from the thumbnail but i'm not gonna lie i kind of i'm kind of feeling this blue gray situation going on now this is a primer that was tinted because according to the painter white primer would have potentially like bled through the final paint color of the home so we got the dark tint for the dark final color and i i like this no blue on white the gray on white situation but speaking of the white and the door 
we haven't decided on the door paint color just yet and we are kind of between two different colors i would ask for your help i would love your help and your feedback or your input but it'll be a little too late by the time this video drops everything will be said and done so we are kind of between two different colors like i mentioned and what we finally decide we won't know until you finish watching this video yeah so yeah yeah pretty much yeah yeah The house is black at this point. The color is on, the house is painted. I'm just doing, like I said, a little walkthrough. So you're gonna see all four corners. You'll see people still painting. You'll still see people um, putting up the house wrap and the trim for the cedar wood section. I'm gonna make sure I'm not stepping in stuff. <laughs> Paint and nails are kind of all over the place. But yeah, this is a look. This is what we've got going here. Those are gonna go, the awnings are going. Um, the shutters that were once on are obviously off now. We're not redoing shutters. Window trim, I think that's what he's back there doing. So everything's black, all black everything, <laughs> right? Looking good, it's looking good. <laughs> we have a black house y'all and if you could have gathered anything about me you should have guessed that i love any and everything black and it's a wonder that i'm not wearing black as we speak but we have a black house it's official it's done it's a wrap the house is black and i don't know if it's a trend or what but i have seen some houses here and there with black brick and cedar accents and not necessarily just here in atlanta but across the country and i just fell in love with it this is a vibe this is it this is where it's at i love it i'm so geeked that this house is black we also got the mailbox painted black as well and um, this is obviously not the final and finished product but i did just want to come in and do a little clip with the final paint color established um, as you can see the door is also black it's painted in a gloss paint whereas the house is a flat black paint the windows all the trim are gloss and now the painter did suggest putting wood or cedar shutters on the to frame the windows and it's just you know i can see why he says that to make it not so one-sided as far as the cedar and the wood accents go but um the thing about me is my toxic trait is that i believe that i can do these projects i can diy a lot of these things so we'll see but stay tuned i know for a fact one thing that i do want to do is add house numbers to the brick and they actually just came in the other day from home depot and i'm so excited to just try it out so stay tuned subscribe to my channel check out my diy playlist and look out for that video of me attempting to put on these house numbers now i am going to show you what they look like because i really don't know necessarily if i'm sold on the color the sides i don't know if i wanted vertical horizontal diagonal what so i'm going to determine that shortly um, also i want to do some small small landscaping here um, shrubbery not anything big or crazy or mulch or rocks or something to just you know give it more of a curb appeal see what i did there that's the whole vibe that's what this episode is about um, the cover pill of this house the exterior transformation and then finally this light fixture here is going to be changed now i'm not saying that i'm going to do it because i'm not an electrician obviously but it will be changed and then voila the whole project will be done and of course as i mentioned the roof and the gutters are the final piece daily the spoons for this look and then the small details are what i am going to attempt to diy myself 
so keep watching to the very end and literally sound off in the comments on what you think about this transformation is it for you is black too bold or too out there for you or do you love it like i love it let me know so these are the six inch rock creek house numbers in the antique copper color and originally i was going to go with the five inch numbers maybe like black or silver or any other color and just spray paint them to the exact copper look that i wanted but i saw that these were available online um, only in the six inch um, size so i'm not really sure if i'm sold on the type of copper color necessarily but i also didn't see the spray paint color that i wanted so i think this is a you know the best option for me thus far so I know that I do want to go vertical with it. Um, that's kind of not a question. I'm gonna go vertical. And then I just want to know like, is it too big, is it not? I think it's perfect, but these are the ones that can either be flush or mounted. So obviously I'm going to mount them. So they're gonna be like 3D. So yeah, challenge accepted. And the alternative could have been like black numbers and five inch, like I said and then have a wood or cedar um, kind of background. If you saw the old house numbers, it was, it was numbers on a wood background. So that could have been a way to kind of even out or bring some of the wood to this side of the house as well. But I don't know. I mean, that, that's a vibe that could, that could work too. That could work too. But um, I think this is different. You got the situation like this, more or less, you know, like that. And, uh, you know something along that I, I think the size is perfect actually i thought six inches was going to be too big but i think it's perfect you know it works mm -hmm. 